Finally, we've got some super exciting Tesla news you won't want to miss. Those delays in Giga Mexico. Well, it turns out they might not be as bad as we thought. Axios just shared a sneak peek from Elon Musk's upcoming biography written by Walter Isaac Son, and it's packed with some really cool stuff. But before we dive into all that, let's start with a quick background story. As autonomy gets better and better and you have robo-taxis and everything, the robo-taxis will be cheaper than a bus or a subway. And it'll take you point to point, you know, even when it's like raining and snow. So it's going to be better also, I think, from a public health standpoint, like if there's another pandemic and, you know, how yeah. you get around, you know? Yeah. It's like just difficult to go into in crowded spaces. So I think tunnels are going to be really important in the future for relieving congestion in, um, in cities. So I, I hope others start tunnel tunneling companies and, and just improve tunneling technology. In November 2021, Elon Musk and his top team let's call them the Fab Five, made a crucial decision that would shape Tesla's future. They agreed that the upcoming robo-taxi would be a smaller, more affordable, and less speedy vehicle compared to the Model 3. Why? Because they believed that sheer volume was the key to success. Elon famously remarked, there is no amount we could possibly build that will be enough. Their goal? To hit a staggering 20 million cars per year, but behind closed doors. For years, there was a tug of war between Elon, Franz, and the rest of the team. Should they go all in on the robo-taxi, putting all their chips on autonomous driving, or should they keep a car you can buy with pedals and a steering wheel? When discussing the robo-taxi, they faced fascinating challenges, like making sure it could close its own doors and figuring out how it could enter gated communities or parking garages. Some engineers favored the safer, more traditional approach, while Elon was pushing for full autonomy. In August 2022, they had a pivotal meeting. Franz suggested building a car with a steering wheel and pedals that could be easily removed once autonomous driving regulations were in place. But Elon firmly said, no mirrors, no pedals, no steering wheel. He wanted an all-in robo-taxi ready to take the risk and make history. A few weeks later, Elon declared, this will be a historically revolutionary product, transforming everything making Tesla a $10 trillion dollars trillion dollar company. However, the story takes a twist. Franz and his engineers kept pushing for a more conventional vehicle. They argued that even if self-driving cars got the green lights in the US, international approval would take years. So they proposed a dual approach, building both a robo-taxi and a traditional $25,000 car on the same assembly lines. Elon initially found the $25,000 car unexciting. But things changed. In February 2023, during a design meeting, Franz displayed both designs and Elon fell in love with them. He envisioned these cars as futuristic, something people would see as a glimpse of the future. This marked the birth of the next-gen platform, a vehicle that could serve as both a robo-taxi and a traditional ride, blending the best of both worlds. But wait, there's more. Originally planned for Giga Mexico, Elon decided to move the project to Austin, Texas. Why? Because he believed Tesla's engineers needed to be right there, beside the assembly line, to innovate, improve, and ensure a successful production process. As of May 2023, Elon's vision is coming to life with the next-gen platform likely to debut in Austin's existing factory, complete with high-speed, ultra-automated assembly lines. Elon is meticulously refining every station on the line, looking for ways to shave off precious milliseconds from each step. So what does all this mean for us, the eager Tesla enthusiasts? It means we might witness the robo-taxi and the $25,000 Tesla much sooner than anticipated, rather than waiting for Giga Mexico to be constructed over the next year or two. Tesla is already hard at work on the next-gen manufacturing lines in Austin, Texas. This development significantly diminishes the concerns surrounding Giga Mexico's delays and positions them more as a minor hiccup rather than a potential showstopper. We can probably expect an unveiling event for these two groundbreaking products sometime in the coming year, with the possibility of production kicking off around 2025 or 2026. Tesla will use trial lines in Austin, refining them with the aid of new, cutting-edge automated systems in the current Austin factory. This will require extensive testing, representing a shift towards an entirely new way of building vehicles, likely with some assistance from Tesla's automation expertise, affectionately known as Optimus. What's truly promising is that Tesla is committed to rolling out a more affordable vehicle. 
equipped with wheels, pedals, and mirrors. Not everyone is ready to embrace the full robo-taxi experience immediately. Some still prefer the familiarity of traditional driving, especially for quick errands or when they're not quite ready to trust autonomous technology. Regulatory hurdles also play a role in this decision. However, having both vehicles on a single platform brings significant advantages. It translates to cost savings, quicker manufacturing times, a higher number of shared parts, and enhanced economies of scale. It also provides flexibility to adapt to market demands effectively. So while Giga Mexico will ultimately become the primary factory for mass market production of these vehicles, we might witness early production coming out of Austin first. Perhaps even more monumental than the news about the next-gen platform is Elon Musk's unwavering commitment. He's not just the face of Tesla. He's deeply involved in the nitty-gritty details, spending hours each week refining manufacturing processes to shave off precious milliseconds from each step is no small feat. It underscores Tesla's unrelenting pursuit of innovation and efficiency. As Elon succinctly put it, Tesla remains hardcore after all these years. The company's culture is built on constant innovation as if they're perpetually on the brink of bankruptcy or being disrupted. This culture of relentless innovation cannot be replicated overnight and sets Tesla apart in the automotive world. Yet, the journey is not without its challenges. One significant risk lies in ensuring that the more affordable vehicle doesn't become too polarizing or futuristic. Elon's desire for a Cybertruck, like Feel underscores, the need for mass market appeal. Buying a car is deeply personal, and Tesla understands the importance of getting it right. History suggests that they have a knack for creating vehicles that resonate with consumers. In terms of Tesla's valuation, Elon has his sights set on a staggering $10 trillion once the next-gen platform is fully operational. This isn't just ambitious. It's an indicator of the immense potential these vehicles hold. Finally, there's another exciting development on the horizon. Powerwall 3. With optimizations for easy installation and high power output, the Powerwall 3 promises to serve as an uninterruptible power supply for most homes. This means your lights can stay on and your devices can keep running even during a power outage. It boasts a higher peak power output, potentially double that of its predecessor, and eliminates the brief switchover period experienced with older models. Plus, it contains the inverter, streamlining the installation process. While we don't yet have all the pricing details, this new Powerwall promises to be a game changer, enhancing energy resilience for homeowners across the globe. But there are some people online who are speculating about an interesting development regarding the Powerwall 3. According to these speculations, it might be possible to purchase the Powerwall 3 as a standalone product, independently of a solar installation. This potential change in Tesla's offering could have significant implications for homeowners looking to adopt renewable energy solutions. It would mean that Tesla is broadening its product range to cater to a wider range of customer needs and preferences. Additionally, it's worth mentioning that there is a suggestion that some customers might still receive the Powerwall Plus. This is evident from its continued presence on the Tesla website and the attractive $500 rebates being offered. This implies that Tesla is actively managing its product lineup, possibly to accommodate varying consumer demands and preferences. Shifting focus to Tesla's performance in the Chinese market, August saw an impressive surge in domestic sales, totaling 64,694 vehicles. This figure represents a record-breaking second month of the quarter, highlighting Tesla's growing presence in China. However, it's essential to contextualize this achievement by considering that there were lower export numbers for the month. To gain a more comprehensive perspective on Tesla's operations in China, Many are eagerly awaiting official production numbers, especially for the Model 3, which has been a key contributor to Tesla's success in the region. The upcoming V12 update for Tesla vehicles introduces several exciting features, one of which is the police vehicle display. This addition is particularly intriguing as it provides a glimpse into Tesla's continuous efforts to enhance user experience and user interface. With V12, Tesla is moving toward a more sophisticated user interface that approximates the vehicle's decision-making processes. This development signifies a significant step 
toward realizing the goal of fully autonomous driving. Tesla's presence at the Detroit Auto Show has undergone changes, with its exhibitor status removed from the corporate exhibitor list. However, it's not a complete withdrawal. Rather, it suggests that Tesla might adopt a different approach to showcasing its products at the event. The focus could shift toward providing first-hand EV experiences and offering ride-along opportunities. Tesla's unconventional approach to participating in industry events aligns with its unique brand identity. In the United Kingdom, the opening of the largest public EV charging hub is a noteworthy development. This facility, this facility features 30 ultra-fast, 150 kilowatt charging bays and 150 standard 7 kilowatt charging points. What makes this project even more promising is that it's powered by renewable energy sources, including a solar canopy. This initiative contributes to the ongoing expansion of EV charging infrastructure, a critical component of the transition to electric mobility. Lotus, the renowned sports car manufacturer, has unveiled its 2024 EMEA electric hypercar. Set to enter production in early 2024, this vehicle is expected to compete with electric offerings from established automakers like Audi and Porsche. Although specific details are limited at this stage, Lotus has emphasized that the EMEA will be capable of accepting charging speeds of up to 350 kilowatts. This underscores the brand's commitment to fast charging technology and high-performance electric vehicles. The Munich Auto Show has brought to the forefront the increasing presence of Chinese automakers in the European market. In comparison to the previous year, the number of Chinese car makers at the event has doubled, occupying a significant portion of the exhibition space. This trend reflects China's rapid advancements in EV technology and its determination to compete on a global scale. The European automotive landscape is witnessing a profound shift as Chinese automakers expand their influence. Stellantis, a major player in the automotive industry, has set ambitious goals related to battery technology. The company's technology chief aims to reduce battery weight by at least 50% by 2030, a substantial target. However, it's worth noting that this aspiration is accompanied by uncertainty about the exact nature of future batteries. Stellantis acknowledges the need for innovative materials, chemistry, and manufacturing processes to achieve this significant reduction in battery weight. This highlights the complexities faced by traditional automakers in keeping pace with industry leaders like Tesla. Ford's F-150 Lightning is set to receive an exciting update. Apple Maps EV routing. This feature will be integrated into the vehicle by the end of the year, enhancing its usability and convenience for EV owners. It aligns with Ford's efforts to provide a seamless and user-friendly EV experience, ensuring that F-150 Lightning drivers can access up-to-date information and optimal routes for electric charging. Rivian, a prominent electric vehicle manufacturer, foresees a favorable outlook for battery material prices. The company's finance chief anticipates a significant deflation in battery material prices, beginning in late 2021 and extending into 2024. This aligns with the broader industry trend of declining battery costs, which is crucial for making electric vehicles more affordable and accessible to consumers. North American Council for Freight Efficiency is hosting the Run on Less Electric Depot event featuring Tesla as a newcomer. This event is designed to showcase various aspects of electric fleet adoption, including charging infrastructure, operational metrics, and fleet scaling. Tesla's participation in this event is highly anticipated, especially with regard to its electric semi-truck. The heavy trucking industry will closely watch Tesla's performance in this context, as it aims to make a significant impact in the segment. In conclusion, these developments reflect the ever-evolving landscape of the electric vehicle and renewable energy industries. Tesla continues to be a frontrunner in driving innovation and setting industry standards. Meanwhile, traditional automakers and stakeholders are actively working to catch up and remain competitive in this transformative era of transportation and energy. So, what are your thoughts about Andrew Tate? Are we actually living in a matrix? Share with us in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, show us some love by hitting that like button and leaving a comment down below. Also, if you're a fan of all things technology, be sure to check out this other video we've got lined up for you. 
It's packed with all the latest news, tips, and tricks to keep you ahead of the curve.